Okay. I'm not going to have a whole separate video set up for lights um, because that's kind of self-explanatory with lights. When you place your little light, you can adjust it. You can adjust the intensity. You can change from point light to spotlight, but that's basically it. You know, choose your color. Uh, gizmo visibility just means that in the preview window, it won't show it. Um, in the preview window, it won't show it. Um, it won't show the little ball that's flying around. You know, it'll show the light and everything that it's doing. See how everything is showing shadows? It'll show you the little light, but it's not going to show this little ball. And this is what I'm talking about. See that? What you see in the editor window, if you hit show gizmo or gizmo visibility, turn that off, it goes away. It just shows the light. And that's really that with lights. You can change the color and go nuts. You can make it red and whatever color, change the intensity, and just have fun with it. And that's lights. Now that I've talked about lights, what? Nothing. <laughs> you're good. Now that I've talked about lights, let's go ahead and talk about the next thing, the thing that um, you're probably really curious about right now. So at the very top, on your little, you had your cameras, which we went over, light, which we went over, display, which we went over. We have an add an object button. If you click that add object button, it's going to bring you to this, right? It's going to bring you to this. So what this is, is this is your asset browser with motion. You have a bunch of pre-made assets already in here that you can go ahead and throw into here if you so wish whatever asset that you want you can grab throw them in there make your environment a little better and stuff if you want to like add a couch you want to add a, a, a soda can go crazy go crazy you know you want to put a little umbrella in there i'll put an umbrella hit add cool so now we have this big umbrella in this space it totally doesn't fit doesn't make any sense at all but now you have this little thing you can go ahead and you know Play with it, you know, put it wherever you want. You know, you want your model be to have this behind your model. You want it to be kind of like like at a little angle, you know, or maybe put it even make it shrink it super small and put it into a drink, whatever you want to do. This is just a 3D object that you have imported. And it is one of the many objects that are already preloaded into motion. That being said, behind my head, you'll see those little buttons right here. It says import and add. When you click something, you hit add. It makes that object pop up in the space, right? But if you go back to your object, you'll see something called import. Import allows you to import .mtion objects into Motion Studio. I have another video explaining how to do that. So definitely give that a watch if you have not already.